Hi guys, Tito here. Now, while most of my mates spent dirty December engaging in frivolous Christmas spending, I made the conscious effort to have a low-key Christmas and to save as much money as I could. Now, it's not as if there's anything particularly wrong with capitalist consumerism that fuels excessive holiday spending and gives millions of people major cases of FOMO and anxiety at the end of every year. It's just that I wanted to save as much money as I could so that I could take advantage of as many investment opportunities as possible in the new year. And the more I thought about it, the more I realized that the beginning of the year is the best time to invest. Here's why. Number one, better rates and incentives. Because companies who make investment products know that a lot of people are broke at the beginning of the year, they tend to offer or create investment products at better rates of return or at more affordable prices in order to accommodate or attract the few potential investors who actually do have money to invest. For example, a brand new investment in June may offer a rate of return of 20%, whereas that same investment in January could offer a 25% or a 30% rate of return, which is more lucrative and more attractive to investors. Number two, optimism at the beginning of the year. Everyone's typically very optimistic at the beginning of a new year. And a lot of people want to do more with their finances and this usually includes them wanting to save more or invest more. That energy to invest is usually at its peak at the beginning of a new year. So maybe you can take full advantage of that by doing as much investing as you can before you run out of steam. Number three, more juicy options and less competition. At the beginning of the year, companies roll out their investment products that they spent the previous quarter creating with all kinds of projections in mind and with an eagerness to roll them out to the public at the start of the new year. And usually many of these investment products have all kinds of incentives Im embedded in them. Sometimes you just need to look closely. Number four, investments are easier to track. If you like to monitor the performance of your investments, then you may want to consider doing most of your investing at the beginning of the year since it's easier to prioritize or remember things that you bought at the beginning of the year, thereby making them easier to track. Another trick to this is to do your investing on your birthday or the week of your birthday, another period where you can easily remember where you bought things. There you have it. The reasons why I think the best time to invest is at the beginning of the year. But as the Japanese proverb goes, the best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago, but the second best time to plant a tree is right now. So regardless of when you're watching this video, now is the time to start investing or at least to start planning to invest. Now, if you're interested in this kind of thing, I have a whole playlist. You can click the card in the corner of the screen on how to invest and the different kinds of things that you can actually invest in. Please take advantage of that. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up by clicking the like button just underneath the video. I'd really appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe as well. I talk about things like this and a few other things on my channel. Hit the subscribe button underneath the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been awesome. I will see you in the next one. Take care.